So no, photons have no mass, and I'll tell you why. E equals mc squared is actually not accurate. It is a simplification. It's a very useful simplification because relativity is already very complicated, but it's a simplification. Here's the actual equation we should be using. E squared equals p squared times c squared plus m squared times c to the fourth. Now you'll notice if you take out the p squared times c squared, you just end up with e squared equals m squared times c to the fourth, which can be simplified to e equals mc squared. And that's the simplification I was talking about earlier. But what do these terms mean? Well, e equals energy, m equals mass, and c equals the speed of light. But what's this p? p is an object's momentum. So what this is telling us is that an object's energy is equal to its mass energy and its momentum energy. And when an object is at rest, its momentum is zero. Hence, we get the familiar E equals mc squared. But when an object is doing something, when it's moving, then it has momentum energy. And again, by the way, this doesn't really break mass energy equivalence. You just have to solve for m again. But back to the original question, you asked if photons have mass when I said energy is mass. No, they have zero mass. No mass. They do, however, have momentum. So in the case of light, you can just totally ignore this part of the equation because zero mass means this all becomes zero. So to calculate a photon's energy, it's E squared equals P squared times C squared. And that momentum of light is basically stored in its wavelength. I did another video on that way back when. Therefore, light has energy, but has no mass, while simultaneously adding energy to a system increases its relativistic mass. But that's really just a way to kind of explain that momentum part of that equation. Funny enough, this actually creates another quirk of the universe. The only things that exist in the universe are energy and mass. So if a particle had no mass, like a photon, but was also at rest, i.e. had no momentum, then it would also have no energy. No mass and no energy means it doesn't exist. Which means for a massless particle to exist, it can never be at rest. Photons, by the nature of their existence, have to keep moving. They, as the great scientist Sonic the Hedgehog once said, gotta go fast.